When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today we have a very special remint collection to look at. You guys know we've opened up so many different remint series before on this channel. I think one was like 1980s living room themed. One was like a convenience store, like I believe a Japanese 7-Eleven. And we've done some some other ones that I don't quite remember what they are, but I feel like this is going to be one of the most exciting ones that we've ever unboxed, especially if you're like me and you like creepy things and you just can't wait for Halloween. I don't remember exactly what the series is called. I'll see if I can throw up a picture in here somewhere, but the theme is like witches, like little witches. I don't know if I can like elaborate anymore than that. It almost looks like, dare I say, kind of Hogwarts-ish. Like we've got an owl, an owl that I think is holding a letter in its mouth, but it's not like an official Harry Potter thing. I think it was called Witch something. Anyway, we have a complete set today. And for whatever reason, oh, I thought it was a box of 12, but it's a box of eight. So I'm gonna split this up into two videos because these always end up taking us a really long time to look at. There's so many little tiny details. And a lot of times with these, there's elements that you do like stickers, you cut out little portions, all kinds of stuff like that. So I started like splitting these up into two videos and it just like makes more sense that way. But let me know what you guys think because I do have another remint collection for us to unbox together. So if you guys hate the two-parter thing, leave me a comment down below and maybe I won't film the next one in a two-parter. So let's get the up-close camera so that you guys can see even the box and everything. Let's get a Halloween count first and see how many days? Only 201 days! Oh my gosh! I am hopeful about this year's Halloween, but I'm not overly optimistic if I'm being honest. Oh, this is heavy! <gasps> That's wild! All right, so this is the box. As you guys can see, there's a witch hat right on the front, a crystal ball! Is that a candle? So here are some of the options. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know there's like a fireplace? and a desk, ah, so many amazing things. Is that like a spinning wheel? Oh my God. Okay, let's just get into it. And I have my not so trusty slicing knife down here. Opening, oh, what is that? Oh, oh, is it the hearth? It is, look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is heavy. I feel like my hand is shaking with excitement and probably also over caffeination. I think I've had about five cups of coffee today, which is probably four too many. So let's go ahead and remove that. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like these are so detailed, like the brick it even looks a little bit darker here. Like maybe it's been burned by years of magic fire. And then there you guys can see. And here is all of our magical accoutrements. Here we have our magical cauldron. Look at that. Look at that. It's so magical. Actually has like heft to it. So, oh, I am silly. I almost put the fire in the cauldron. That is not what I meant to do. We're supposed to be using this, which is like a green bubbling liquid. You know what? I'm going to just show you guys the details up here. Oh, I'm going to buy another one of these cameras, I swear, because it's, it's somehow better. So we have a nice bubbling liquid. And so we're supposed to put that inside of there and Oh, then inside of here fits the fire. And there he is. It reminds me of the fire from Howl's Moving Castle. There we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do like a clip of it all set up down here. And then this is so funny because it's like so bendy, but it is a magical staff. So it looks like twisted wood or something. And then we have a blue 
magic stone encapsulated in there. And then the last little like item is a jar, like a little miniature glass jar. And it looks like it has something really cool inside of it, but I don't know what it is. And it actually has like a stopper that can be removed. We have, so, okay. So the series here, I can see it's called Witch's House. And so we just have one sticker here. And unfortunately I cannot read what the label says. So this label is actually supposed to go on the potion bottle or the ingredient bottle. So there we go. Just one little sticker element this time. That looks so cool. Here is the little paper elements. It looks like they tell you a little bit about this set maybe. And then there's like a poster for minerals and it looks like a flying potion. And then the backs are printed too so that they would match. So technically you are supposed to be able to make like a little diorama out of the box. So you could set this up and this looks like a window and everything. And this would be like a hardwood floor. I have to admit, I don't really do that, but maybe I should start doing that. So far, this set is so detailed, so amazing. Let me try and just like pick this up. The fire is like a little bit hidden in there by the hearth. So I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like you guys can see that too well, but so far, oh my gosh, is this set my favorite? Maybe. Okay. Next box. Box number two. All right, slicing. I wonder what the 15 means. You guys, discovering Amazon Japan <laughs> has been like one of my great joys from last year. Oh, I just ripped that box open. It is like so amazing to just be able to shop on Amazon Japan directly. All right, let's see. <gasps> Yay, okay, I was hoping we were gonna get this one tonight and I am so excited. So uh, this, Oh my god! Okay, I thought it was the crystal ball. It's not. I was like, I'm really excited to see the crystal ball, but this set looks awesome too. This looks like it's gonna be a more like science, science kind of set, but we do have this awesome chest of drawers kind of thing. Do the drawers actually open? Because if so, then what do we do? Just scream? Ah! Oh! <gasps> Is that a frog? I just think everything's a frog. No, it's fungus. Fungus? Yes. Um, what's in the other drawer? More fungus, maybe? Fungus? Is it fungus? Oh, that one's empty. Okay. And then the desk also has this like little pull out area for writing. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cute. Oh my God. More on that later. So let's open all of our magical sciencey things. Slicing, slicing and dicing. I have no memory of what science things are called. And I can't tell if this is, oh, this is like um a little like oil burning lamp with a magical blue flame. At first I thought this was like ink for a quill pen or something. You know how you like dip the pen in the ink? Because this kind of looks like a writing desk to me more than a science desk, but I could be wrong. And then this was the other thing in there with that. And I'm not too sure about my science terminology, but it almost looks like, isn't a pipette, that thing where you like squeeze the bulb on the end and you suck liquid up? For some reason, pipette is rushing to mind, but I could be wrong. Um, so they show this little thing with this prop. So once again, we have like a magical colored liquid. This is like um, a lilac-y purple, and that goes in this crystal beaker-like thing, and it has like a little spout on it. That's so cute. So this little set is supposed to go together like so. And then we have a bunch of super magical, if I say magical one more time for the magic set. So this is something else that we have to assemble a little bit. So you get these two plastic things that look like this, and then this kind of round blue. So this little thing fits in this really awesome looking gold claw talon thing. Look at that. 
<gasps> I feel like literally the camera is not even doing justice like how cool and amazing this stuff looks in real life. And then I think our last prop is this kind of set. This is what I thought was the crystal ball, but we have like this stand like that. Pretty ornate little details on the top. And I don't know what this thing is called. Definitely looks scientific. And it has like purple liquid in there, but this sets together like that on the little stand there. And now there's no stickers for this one, which I am not sad about at all. I feel like I say this every time we have a remit, but the, uh, affixing the stickers just makes me nervous because I always am scared. I'm not gonna put it on straight. It's not gonna look good. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get it like centered. So this just comes with, uh, I think it's supposed to look, oh, it is supposed to look like a book. So these are some pages for the book. And then this bottom thing would be like the cover of the book and the interior lining. And it's all pictures of what appears to be like mushrooms and fungus and stuff. So that is pretty amazing. All right, we're not even halfway through with all the boxes. Box number three. Now maybe I do like just babble a lot. So that's why it takes me a really long time, but I don't know. I like to hang out with you guys, talk, spend time with you. I don't just like to be like, here it is, here it is. <laughs> That would be like pretty wild unboxing style for me. What? What is that? I, I truly can't tell. What is it? Oh, <gasps> it looks like a seance table. Could it be? Could it be the crystal ball? Yes. Okay. It's cause I wish I was at the haunted mansion right now. I'm like, I want to see the Madame Leota crystal ball, please. That would be so awesome if they had a haunted mansion set like this. So here is our magical seance table. Look at that wood grain texture. Very realistic. Ah, how about a little up close camera angle? All of this furniture looks so cool. And there's even these like little details on the side of the table. Oh, it looks so real. Okay, so here's all of our magical stuff that we're about to unbox. What is that? Okay, it almost looks like a compass. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's supposed to be a little bit like a Ouija board. I've never seen one in this style before, but it does say like, yes, maybe, no, non-applicable. Um, there's two no's and then something that says R, Q, and D, W, A. I don't know what that means. Maybe you guys do and you can Tell me in the comments down below. Here's our crystal ball and oh my gosh, the crystal ball is actually a glass marble. That is so magical. Okay, I was trying to do that cool thing. You guys know those like photography spheres where it like makes whatever you take a picture of through the sphere look upside down. Does that make sense? Anyway, I was trying to do that, but it's kind of like not clear enough. It almost has a little bit of a blue tint to it in real life. I'm not sure if that's coming through on camera or not, but look at that magical crystal ball. Let's set it on the table and look at that. That is so awesome. I love it. This I think is, um, what do they call those like crystal points? like a pendulum maybe, is that what that's called? Uh, Cause I think that this is meant to go with the Ouija board, spirit board. It's kind of like the planchette. They show these two items together. And uh, so I, I assume that they are meant to go together. Um, and then last but not least for this set, we have a magical candlestick. So it looks like red wax, a nice orange glowing flame and a beautiful gold ornate candlestick to go with our gold crystal ball. And then, oh, okay. Maybe these are supposed to be like tarot cards with a little mat. That's what that looks like to me. And that's what the back of those look like. I have to be honest, I don't think, well, you know what? I don't think that's completely true. I think uh, for some of the fast food ones we did, maybe that was the other set we did. 
like a burger one, burgers and fries or something. I did cut some of the paper stuff out. I was about to say, I've never cut the paper things out, but I think I did because I think you had to make like a, the burger wrapper or something or the french fry wrapper or something. All right, you guys, last box for the day, box number four. And I did just open them in a row here. So we will save these four and I shall open them very soon. Let me know when you guys want part two. If you like when I do like part one and then part two back to back, or if you want me to like kind of space it out and do other things in the middle, let me know. Oh my gosh. Sometimes these boxes, you guys. Okay. Ooh, what is this? This one looks like it does not have any super large piece of furniture in it. It doesn't. So this one just has these bits. It looks a little bit more like kind of sciencey plant plant planty so i'm going to show you guys the biggest thing first that i don't know what it is it looks really amazing you know what maybe it's some kind of like um what are those called mortar and pestle like the thing that you like grind stuff with maybe it's like that i got really excited when i first saw it because i was like is it a frog and it kind of almost looks frog like like even from the top and the bottom, but it's not, it's not a frog. So it's like this base kind of thing. And then this like wheel that clearly has handles on it. So maybe you could like put some kind of like plants or herbs or something in there and like spin this back and forth and crush them into a powder or something. I'm just saying that because uh, the next couple things that we have in here are like plants. This one, oddly enough, looks like a little bit of lavender. We just have one little bit of lavender. And then these sort of unidentified green leafy bits. And they do like actually move around quite a bit. So they feel really realistic. And then this looks so cool. It looks like it's actually a potion or like spell book of some kind and there is the cover and the binding it even has like a little lock on the side you know what would have been cool and honestly maybe it's in another set but what's those like book stands called that would have been so cool to have like a little like thing but nobody asked me uh okay up next is something else that i literally don't know what it is and i don't oh okay so this actually goes i didn't even see it on the picture at first but it's like it almost looks like a little thing of lettuce or something but this actually goes inside of the frog looking thing and then the little wheel thing goes on top of that so it does look like maybe you're crushing or mixing something down there. And then we have this, which maybe it's like, oh, there is a teeny tiny little stopper. I thought somehow mine was broken, but oh, there went my crystal ball. Uh, so we have this, which almost looks like a potion bottle. And it does have this teeny tiny little green stopper that I almost did not spot in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Now our little bottle is together. Then the next thing, oh my gosh. Okay, we're about to put this together as well. So this is like a little rack and I don't remember what these are called, test tubes, I think. So you get three test tubes. Ta-da, okay. Here's the third one. They look so cute. Okay. And then the last thing here. Oh my gosh. Okay. You guys, this gets more and more and more interesting. So the little uh, bit of lavender that I showed you guys earlier, that is supposed to go in a test tube. And then we have a little stopper. And these things are like so tiny, the camera doesn't even want to focus on them. And then there's this like blue looking stuff. Not 100% sure what that's meant to be. It almost looks like magical ice or something. So that goes in one of these little test tubes with a stopper. 
And then the last one on the picture, it almost looks like it has like a scroll or something in it. Oh yeah, okay, right? Doesn't that one on the picture look like it has paper in there? So we do have two little things in here. This is actually like a plant poster. And then this, I think you would cut that out and roll it up. And that would be what you would put inside the third little test tube. You guys have to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think of this set. By far, I know I've said this already, this has definitely been one of my favorites. It is truly unique and magical and I can't wait to open the next four. So you guys be sure and let me know when you want me to upload part two and I'll be back again very, very soon. But until I am, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.